everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. My name is Azzy and I'll be your Let's Player for tonight. So what I want you to do is kick back, relax, turn off those lights, turn up that volume, and let's get started. Alright, so let's see. What have we done? I think we just delivered Hotchkiss's Hotch, Hotch boots. So let's go talk to Des Dexter Egan. I cannot speak today. Let's go talk to Dexter Egan and let him know so that he can give us another job to take on. Can I help you? Uh, how about my radiator, dude? About my radiator, Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But Perfect. now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement yes. and make sure it's because working? I'm an electrician. I know all about circuit breakers. I thought you don't need to be an electrician. To, I'm, I'm just making a joke here. Anyway, some vacation this is turning into. Some vacation this is turning into. All right. Let's see. Are you here? Yes, you are. Let's talk to you for a sec. Hi there, how's it what going? What do you know about Jacques Brunet? What do you know about Jacques Brunet? Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500 meter slalom, but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, but at least his looks haven't gone down the that tubes. That kind of sucks. So tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. So tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. Um, there must be a little mix-up mix up with the locks, lockers. I accidentally opened yours. There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, mm. and? Well, I was kind of confused. Well, I was kind of confused. I was just trying to see whose stuff was in there, and I found a bunch of IDs in your bag. They all had your picture and other people's names on them. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, uh -huh. Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. Does your, I'm sure you know what I mean. Does your job take you to exotic places? Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. Oh, let's get back to your magazine. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. Stay warm. Who says that? I don't know. I have no idea who says that. It's one of the characters where they're like, stay warm. And they say it just like that. Maybe it's her at some point. All right, we need to check this thing. I'm not really sure. We're going to just place those. See what those turn us turn out to be there's no real like oh let's like answer like any way to solve it without like just trial and error which that seemed to work out perfectly fine for us because it appears that it's right no big deal no big deal just did that on a whim without even knowing what I was doing all right mr. Egan yes um my radiator I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator? Thanks for dealing with the circuit mm -hmm. breaker. Okay, we're really making progress yep. here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her no phone. No problem. No problem, boss. All right, let's go and talk to Hotchkiss, because I have nothing better to do than to run errands for Dexter Egan. You might as well be paying me to work here, because I'm pretty much what I'm doing. Is she this one? Ugh! Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions! It's Who Nancy is it? Nancy again. It's Nancy again. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. Oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But... Tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. couscous huh? Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, it's Fanny. Fancy, but whatever. Fanny. Pretty funny. Alright. Baxter, she wants some couscous. 
Miss Fancy Pants wants some couscous. Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. All right. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. All righty then. All righty then. Maybe it's extra that says stay warm. I think I remember it being a female voice. Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right, you can't keep... Fuck, I did that again. I keep doing that. You need to order something. Is that my couscous already? Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta. Ma'am, I have it right here. I, and did you get the menu? Sure did. Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Sneaky? Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny it's stuff. It's just a fucking menu. Can you calm down? Uh, oh, baby back ribs. Yes, oh, chili cheese dog. A uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Mm. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, 50? please. Chicken, that sure. is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you That's happy. Ridiculous Rock and roll, dear. Chicken wings. I must say. All right, guys. Let's go back. Let's deal with this real quick. Hello. Hello, hello. Can I yes, help you? Yes, drumsticks. The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then, drumsticks we got. Oops, but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell yep. him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. About fucking Your radiator's time. as good as Thank fixed. Thank you. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. All right, let's do that real quick. Get that. Ooh, what's her face? That's all gone. I hope Jacques's in his room. Four. It said two to five, right? So, 30 minutes? Maybe, possibly. Come on. And you go any slower. Yes! Ah, uh, Nancy, come on, Sava. Yeah. All right. Um, Claudia, did Dexter needs you to defrost? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh la la la! What does he think I am? A sous chef? <laughs> You're telling me. He's been sending me around all day. Do you know how much much about the tower that's closed off? Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. And Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. Um, okay, well, tell me about these boxes you're making. Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila, I make these hope boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Ooh, Nancy. I do, say I do. All right. Um, Lisa, tell me about the Olympics. Lisa told me you were in the Olympics. What was that like? Disappointing. Frustrating. Humiliating. Uh, what happened? Oh, what happened? It was the worst day of my life. To fall flat on my face with my family, my country. And the rest of the world oh, watching. That's sad. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Ale, bye bye. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please put a like on this video. Comment below if you have any suggestions, any tips, any tricks, any future games you'd like me to play, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>